So tonight we are here at Dr. Pitt Welfare Park. It is a Northern League Division 2 Ernest Armstrong Cup first round tie between Bedford and Terriers and Blythe Town. This tie has thrown together two of the favourites for promotion from Division 2 this season and both sit on 45 points in second and third place. Host Bedlington Terriers are unbeaten in their last seven matches since a 2-1 defeat at Redcar Town on the 30th of September. And in fact they've won their last five matches here at Dr Pitt Welfare Park. Visitors Blythe Town have lost just two of their last 15 matches in all competitions and they arrive here today on the back of a thrilling penalty shootout victory in the FA Vars away at Division 1 side Bishop Auckland. <laughs> so this is the Ernest Armstrong Cup first round tie between Bedlington Terriers and Blythe Town from Dr Pitt Welfare Park. Come with us and let's see how it goes. So it's half time here in the Ernest Armstrong Cup first round. It is Bedlington Terriers nil, Blythe Town nil. It's been a very even first half. Blythe Town probably started the stronger, but the best two chances of that first half fell to Bedlington Terriers. It was Matthew Hayton and Owen Emerson were both denied by goalkeeper Kyle Hales. Two big chances that was for the Terriers. The closest Blythe came was a free kick from Lee Woff, which hit the top of the crossbar. Um, other than that, there's not been a great deal of chances. It's very even. This could still go either way at half time. It is Bennett and Terriers nil, Blythe Town nil. He's joining us for the second half and let's see if we can see any goals. <laughs> Oh, 
that seems very unusual. <laughs> I'm saying no for that. <laughs> Get it! Oh! 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 So it's finished here at Dr. Pitt Welfare Park, Bedlington Terriers nil, Blythe Town 1. It was a very, very tight cup tie. And in the end, it was decided in the final 20 minutes. It was the two Blythe substitutes that combined. It was Ben Harmison's cross from the left and Charlie Walker it was who slotted the ball home. Blythe were the better team in the second half. They did deserve the victory, but right at the end, Bedlington and Terriers almost grabbed an equaliser with substitute Joseph Thompson headed wide with the goal at his mercy. But that was the nearest Bedlington came in the second half. Blythe deserved this victory. They are through to the next round of the Ernest Armstrong Cup. It's finished here at Dr Pitt Welfare Park. Bedlington and Terriers nil. Blythe Town won. <coughs> <laughs> my name is Richard thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed our coverage here tonight don't forget to give us a like and please consider subscribing to the channel I'll be back very soon with some more grassroots football highlights and other grassroots football journeys as well plus I'm sure there'll be a park run or two to come so stay tuned for that thanks for watching tonight take it easy guys and I'll see you on that next one